Hello and welcome to the SQA information presentation. This presentation will give an overview of the procedures and information issued to date by SQA for the current session. The presentation includes a timeline of key events, highlights of some of the publications that will be issued by SQA to pupils during the session, and also gives some views and advice based on comments from pupils who undertook their national qualifications in previous years. Over the last two sessions, as a result of the COVID pandemic, SQA have made modifications to the national qualification courses under their assessment. These modifications have been put in place to help reduce the volume of assessment as well as to ease teacher and learner workload. Further information is available on the SQA website following this pathway. The website provides information on coursework modifications for each subject and at each A level, assessment modifications and in the contingency plans for the coming session, and also in these two sections, there will be updates on any news or developments. Here at Bowness Academy, we will send out SQA information by email to the home contact and also to pupils via their GLOW email. Staff will also inform pupils of their course requirements. I'm going to briefly outline the different courses and units that are available to pupils. All NQ courses comprise of units. The number of units that these are made up of depends on the subject and level that you're taking the course in. National 5 Higher and Advanced Higher have free standing units. These are units that are assessed on an individual basis and only cover the work in that specific unit. Therefore, they are not part of the whole course award. All courses and units are subject to SQA verification. Verification checks and ensures that standards are maintained. This includes making sure that the conditions of assessment are followed, marking guidelines are adhered to, and that there is evidence of internal verification at departmental and at whole school level. This process is carried out at different points of the session. National 3 and National 4 courses are all internally assessed, therefore there is no exam at the end. Normally, National 4 have an added value unit, which can be an assignment, portfolio, a performance or a practical activity. However, the added value units for this session have been suspended. National 5, Higher and Advanced Higher comprise of two elements, internally assessed coursework and the external assessment. Internally assessed coursework varies depending on the subject and the level. It can be in the form of an assignment, portfolio, performance, practical activity. This is carried out in school and then in most cases are sent to the SQA to be marked. This session, this has been suspended for many but not all courses. Courses such as modern languages still have the requirement for a speaking or talk to take place and be assessed in school. Other courses require visiting SQA assessors to come into school to assess pupils' work, for example, in music, music performance, dance and drama. These courses also have a written exam. The external assessment. The SQA exam diet is planned for the 26th of April to the 1st of June 2022. Contingency plans have also been put in place in the event of the exams having to be cancelled. This includes gathering evidence throughout the session. 
Our intention is to carry this out in a similar way to last session. There will be two main formal assessment blocks, one in December and the other in March. Class assessments may take place at various points in the session to support learning and teaching. For the benefits of pupils' welfare and education, it is important that pupils are presented for courses at the most appropriate level for them at each stage. In order to achieve this, there is ongoing tracking and monitoring of their progress throughout the session. Making sure that pupils are placed at the correct level in a subject as soon as possible in the session is essential. This allows the focus of learning and teaching to be on gaining that award. This maximises the pupil's chances of success and builds their confidence, enabling them to progress in their subject. The table shows the prior attainment required for pupils to progress to the next stage of their pathway. HE stands for Higher Education. We want all our pupils to gain the best qualifications possible. To help pupils achieve this, we offer a variety of support. Some are given to all, for example, tracking reports, while others are more specific and tailored to individual needs. We would encourage all pupils to take advantage of the support offered. We need to work together to achieve the correct balance of support so that pupils can build the resilience in overcoming any barriers and challenges of undertaking national qualifications. SQA issue two booklets to pupils. Your coursework is issued in October and your exam is issued in March. Copies will also be available on the SQA website once they have been issued to pupils. The cover picture may be different, but the title should be the same each year. The booklets give important advice and rules regarding coursework assessment, exams and procedures. It is very important that pupils and parents read the information. I'm deliberately not going through all the points in the booklets. It is the responsibility of pupils to read and to adhere to the rules and protocols for internal and external assessment. SQA hold pupils accountable for their conduct. Not reading it is not an excuse. Malpractice covers behaviours and actions when undertaking all SQA assessments. This includes plagiarism, distracting others during an assessment, taking prohibited devices and equipment into the assessment or exam, or posting things on social media. Any malpractice is taken very seriously by SQA and the consequences can result in marks being reduced, being disqualified from one or all of your exams. The following timeline takes place between June and December. However, we have to remember that this will be taking place for each course that the pupil takes. Staff work with pupils, parents and carers to identify the most appropriate level for a pupil to be presented at in the each of the subjects. This entry is submitted to the SQA. Internal coursework and unit assessments are ongoing throughout this period. Between the 29th of November and the 10th of December, the formal assessment block will take place. Pupils will undertake assessments in each of their subjects. The format, for example, whether people are taken in classes or are in an exam hall, has yet to be finalised. And this will depend on the various restrictions and requirements that will have been put in place. These assessments are important as they provide demonstrated evidence of a pupil's progress at this point. In January, following the formal assessment block, 
pupils' results and progress will be reviewed. The SQA presentation level should then be finalised. At this point, we would expect very few pupils to have to change level. Visiting examiners come into the school to assess performance and practical elements of courses during this period. Internal coursework and unit assessments continue to take place. It is our intention in March to undertake the formal assessment block too, and dates and, con and the format will be confirmed nearer the time. The SQA exam diet starts on the 26th of April and goes through to the 1st of June 2022. One important point worth raising it just now is that invigilators are in charge of running and administering the SQA exams, not teaching staff. You'll be given more information nearer the time regarding this. The SQA Your Exam publication, and this is the cover for 2019, gives important advice and rules regarding exam procedures and protocols. It also has an SCN card on the back of the booklet. The card can be filled in and taken into the exam, but it can only have the information as stated. No other information can be added to the card. The booklet gives information on how to register for your results to be sent in a text or an email or both on results day. To gain a perspective from the pupils' point of view, I have often asked pupils who have previously sat SQA exams for their comments and advice. The following two slides highlight their main points that they raised. The first one, this one, is from S4 pupils. And these are the wise words from the S5 pupils. Parents and carers often ask, what can we do? Your help and support is crucial. High levels of attendance are essential. Pupils need to be in school to keep up with the coursework and assessment. If you know the key dates, times and deadlines, this can help pupils in their planning and preparation for assessments and exams. Doing this also alerts you to pressure points so that you can help them manage their time and social activities. Providing a calm and quiet place to study is very useful. Give encouragement and reinsurance. The aim and focus needs to be that the pupils do their best. They will face challenges and many will worry. To a certain degree, this is normal. However, if this becomes more than normal, alert and contact the school. Research in Scotland has shown that teenagers often suffer from sleep deprivation, which causes problems with behaviour, concentration and learning. So promote and help develop healthy sleeping patterns. Maintaining a good balance between studying, socialising, exercising and relaxation is hard for everyone. It helps if you can give them prompts and advice. Before we know it, it will be August. Results day is Tuesday the 9th of August. Everyone receives their certificate by post. If pupils have registered with MySQA, they will also receive the results either by text or email. Current SQA publications indicate that for session 21-22, there will be a return to the previous system for the post results service. This is an SQA procedure used by schools if they believe that there could have been an error during marking. It's not an appeal system. It is not reviewing the performance, effort or borderline mark of a pupil in an exam. 
the system purely reviews the performance of the marker, not the pupil. More information about the post results service will be available nearer the time. This brings us to the end of the presentation. If you have any questions, please contact the school. Depending on the nature of your inquiry, it will be passed to the SQA coordinator, the pastoral head for your child, or the faculty head for the subject. Many thanks for your time.